we all fail sometimes we fail miserably sometimes we fail daily when it comes to certain aspects and that's part and parcel of life but some, somehow we try to ignore that we try to hide our failures we don't express even we don't express to ourselves we have a lot of excuses and uh, the biggest loss of that is we don't um, identify our weaknesses our strengths because of this failure in fact failure is a great mirror it's a very good mirror if you if you dare to look at holistically and honestly you will come to know about your weaknesses where you fail why you fail and also it will it will highlight your strength that you have something else to do you are good at something else not this this is not meant for you so you need to accept that failure has to be first accepted most of us talk about success but very few dare to talk about failures how to handle failures rather if you ask me how to handle or how to overcome fear of failure that's more nasty that's more unhealthy that's more critical because this fear of failure blocks your mind chokes you and doesn't allow you to learn because somebody somebody has very rightly said i never fail either i win or i learn so whenever you go through so called failure or so called success we have a choice we always have a choice either we get bogged down by the failure give up in life and uh, we get into some kind of depression or maybe societal tendencies or maybe we have a choice to holistically introspect observe the failure failure why i fail what are the different factors attributing to the failure maybe when it comes to your intellectual um uh, dimension that uh, whether you uh, plan properly because if it said if you don't plan if you fail to plan you plan to fail you will understand the patterns the emerging patterns what the competition expects how you underestimate have you underestimated the, the the competition and the competitor are you overconfident have you planned very well to achieve the short term and the long term goal yes so all kind of intellectual analysis second is your emotions your emotional analysis and it is said often that we always make a decision out of our emotion then we try to justify and then we try to justify with the with an intellect so emotionally are you balanced emotionally are you strong emotionally are you detached from uh, from the things i mean you know uh, can you can you see the see the things as they are without the film or the lens of certain emotions emotion is good you know it propels you to achieve something that is something a uh, divine gift human beings have but we need to understand that many times this emotional drive becomes an ego drive and then we 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 land up uh, in you know winning but at what cost we are winning maybe we will we'll lose our near and dear ones or maybe the relationship and then it becomes kind of a habit winning habit so emotionally uh, then physically are you physically fit are you enough fit to achieve certain things in your life uh, when it comes to certain projects or something because if you get into lethargy and you don't take care of your body and your diet and your workout then um, the body is an instrument which actually executes takes an action you may plan you may have those feelings but it's body which will uh, enable you practically to achieve anything in life you have to work for it that's that's done by the body so uh, you are going to analyze when it comes to your physical fitness physical intelligence and then definitely the spiritual intelligence are you able to see very clearly that you may make these short term goals smart goals but what's your higher purpose why are you here on planet earth what's your higher purpose because unless it is not known then you may achieve something but you don't have peace of mind and it goes on it's like an abyss it goes on it's an endless story but you know that this is your purpose and to achieve that purpose you may lose out some something you know maybe very important so called things but then you know that you are heading in the right direction or sooner or later you are going to the contribute towards that purpose you will, you will accomplish that purpose so spirituality really helps i don't get into details because spirituality because spirituality will enable you to know who you are what in you wants to wants to win want, wants to achieve and why this big why is actually 
enabled to explore, co-explore uh, about uh, uh, about your own existence, and eventually it is between you and yourself. So uh, when you analyze all these four dimensions, maybe you will come to know what is failure and what is actually success. Maybe success and failure could be just you know just terms, just terms. What is a failure as per me uh, may not be uh, the same when it comes to someone else. That is, and uh, and and you know. Um, what are the yardsticks of being successful, be it any profession, any role, any any uh, status in life, any social status, economical status, despite of all these status, what do you mean by success? If you ask me, uh, my, my, my perspective about success is, uh, there are certain uh, yardsticks, for, for example, I feel that success for me is having peace of mind, having peace of mind, having uh, that prosperity or being prosperous enough to take care of myself, my family, so that I need not depend on anyone else. The basic needs, financial aspects that I really believe in, yeah. And uh, definitely your health, health. Another success for me is like, you know, when you realize your true potential and your purpose on planet Earth, and you start contributing, the crux is that you should be able to evolve 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 holistically and keep going you should not get stuck and stagnated at failure get into depression and maybe when it comes to success that your head get gets bloated and you become a super egoist and uh, then you you get blocked and you don't learn further so many times we strive very hard to achieve something and we did not achieve that and maybe later later on after a few years we may realize and we extend deepest possible gratitude by saying thank god I did not um, uh, get that which I wanted because right now whatever I am in, this is this is actual purpose of my life. You know, else I would have been uh, distracted and diverted from my path towards my uh, real purpose of life. So it, it happens, you know, it happens because many times it's like a mad race, it's like a sheep mentality, and just everyone is running for it. You will also run, you know, out of competition. So sometimes, you know, you don't know what your individual journey is. That is one. Second is success. Uh, beat any relationship. Could be husband, wife, family, children. Could be, you know, a friend circle. Could be professional front also. See, uh, nothing, I mean, even your career, uh, anything in life. Nothing is as important or as big or as um, large as life. Now, if you lose something, if you lose something which, which you think is most important and uh, um, uh, you can't live without without that and if you lose out that, it's okay, no problem. The life continues. Life continues. You should have an ability to keep moving ahead, holistically evolving, yes, and uh, remember whatever happens, happens for the best. So you need to understand that. So even losing is very important in life. Losing is very, very important. Sometimes I feel, alas, uh, we would have induced this kind of feeling in our generation that uh, you need to even uh, learn to lose something, you know, which is not required. To losing out something which is, which, is, which is negative, which is impure, which is toxic. Buddha, after his enlightenment, for the first time when he went to his, uh, to his uh, place, to his parents, one of his cousin brothers asked Buddha, to fir kya jita? Aur Buddha ne jawab diya, jita to kuch nahi, hara. To fir unne pucha, kya hara? Kehte hai, ahem ko hara, gussa hara, bhai hara, lob hara, lob hara, irsha hari, vasna hari. Unfortunately, we spend a lot of time and we run for all those things which are not required in our life and actually it leads to depression, stress, conflicts, chaos, a lot of confusion. See, if you identify that and start losing that, losing in the sense, let go that, let go that. Don't hold on because it's like holding on anger. It's rightly said that, you know, you are, you, you are the first person to get hurt, not the other person. And you know that medically also when you are angry, uh, hypertension and a lot of a lot of health issues, right? We all understand that. So let go of that. Let let you know, uh, drop it as if you know uh, the snake drops its unwanted skin after some time. Failure 
uh, how to deal with failure is basically you need to first ensure are you able to give 100% to that as per your IQ, EQ, SQ, PQ, which I was just mentioning about. Second, even after you give some, even if you give you 100% uh, repeatedly and so if you don't get, then you should realize that God has something else for you which you need to accept and then you need to change your direction towards that. Jaisi Disha, Vaisi Disha. So maybe that's that's for you. And as long as you are alive on planet Earth, it means your mission on planet Earth is not completed. And you can keep saying, Abhi picture baki hai mere dost. If so-called success makes me an egoist, an evil, a demon kind of, and if a failure makes me more humble, down to earth, uh, a sort of saint, then congratulations, I'm happy with my failure.